What's up, y'all? So, this video is like way in the future, but I just need to give you an intro because during all of this, I don't know why he just got to be right next to me, but I'm on the floor editing videos. So, but like I said, out and clean, went out there for Bonnie's family, and we we pulled up on my friend with a V3. We went for a ride, and this is it. <laughs> that goddamn seatbelt. <laughs> it was like, it was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> but with the catch can, all that fumes and shit come through here, and I thought it was, I thought at first I thought it was like, I thought something was wrong, but then I realized what the what. The, what do we get all this, you know, all this traffic and shit? Did you have trash control on? When you hit that first initial punch? No. Ah, you drive like us. No. Okay, just making sure. Early in the video, we was racing a V3, and this happened. Huh? Smoke. Where? Under, under the car. All right, so now we're at AutoZone, and we got to get some brake clean. I didn't record on the side of the road. I really need to get better at that. I really need to get better at that because the brake caliper on the truck fell off. Long story. If y'all really want to know what happened with that, ask me in the comments. But um, we was running my boy and he was like, bro, it's smoking. I was like, oh, I don't know what he's talking about. And then, and then it clicked. He was like, your car is smoking. I was like, oh. So um, it's leaking oil. It already had a previous oil leak, and it's weird because it was a very small oil leak. And this fucker here, that's the V3 owner. He don't know I'm recording. Smile, you on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, so we was raising him. Yeah, because he made it leak. If it weren't for him. <laughs> No, but um, so we're going to get back over here and check out and see why it's leaking. And uh, maybe it took back to the house. <laughs> yeah, we, we got 20 miles to the gallon going 75, 79 miles an hour all the way here. So we, I think we did pretty good with that. But 28.5. I, <laughs> I promised you. Something going 25. slow as hell? No, man. It's like 75. 75, 80. Oh, well. But it shows you can see This asshole. <laughs> but we'll talk to y'all in a minute. We get to record. So, the darker spots right here is the oil because I already used some brake clean to clean it. It was leaking a lot worse on the other side, over on the side of the freeway. All right, Jazz, pull the dipstick out. Uh, you hear that? 
Well, as you can see, it's making oil pressure now. Earlier, it was at like, well, sitting on the side of the road, it was at like 20. No, no it wasn't even at 20. It was like 16 PSI. But now it's making more oil pressure. Uh, we're creeping at home. I'm about to go to Walmart here in a second and buy some oil. But, um, you know, I just don't want that low oil light to come on while we're on our way back from Colleen because that's a two hour drive. I mean, we probably got like an hour 30, maybe an hour left. But I just, I'd rather have the oil sitting here and return it later than, you know, be ass out on the side of the road when I can fill it up and I know I'm, I'm still good. I can make it to the house on that oil. But, like I said, we're on our way to Walmart. She don't want to go in here with me. She's so annoying. But we're going to try to make it there and then I get back with y'all. Alright, we at the dealership. We got the V in the air. Alfredo's in there working. There go Gabriel. Alright, let me see. Y'all saw, oh, sorry. Y'all saw what happened. Remain seal went, and also the oil pan went, but she still has an aftermarket warranty on it. So, even though it was tuned with the Carter intake on there, uh, we still got the the seals fixed. But I think what ended up happening was when I put that four and a half inch on there, that tube that originally goes into the, um, into the, the factory coder intake or intake tube I plugged it up instead of just letting it vent and I'm pretty sure doing those pulls and the pulls from when we put the coder intake on and all that stuff is what just decided it wanted to uh, keep all that pressure in and blow some seals so we took it in got that done we also got a new blower put on there but the isolator is still making lovely noises, but, um, yeah, so the car was 100% and it's holding oil pressure and that's all it was, but, yeah, like, share, subscribe, we'll holler at y'all later.